Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? Great. It is wonderful to be in between space because you know what is possible, but you are not there for final fulfillment. So this morning, I would like to invite all of you to a short meditation in order to begin our conference today. It came from Korean children's play, but you will love it. So if you like, and if you are able, please do this with me. Would you rise? The first thing you need to do is you really rub your hands very fast. Very, very, very fast. Even faster. <laughs> Even more faster. <laughs> and harder. And faster. Faster, faster. You feel so hot. <laughs> and open. What do you feel? Do you feel energy, right? This tinkling feeling, this magnetic cushion. We call it chi, ki, shakti. Prana, Luach, Holy Spirit, or simply energy. Let us put our, this beautiful energy to our heart. Our beautiful heart. And let us open our heart very wide. Hearts are meant to be broken. But there's a two ways of being broken. Broken wide open or broken apart. When you are broken wide open through that crack, light, wisdom, Compassion comes in. You become a big container. You can embrace all the differences and complexity. This is a big compassionate heart. Let us put our hands together. Then we turn to our neighbor, whoever she or he is, and bow to them. Let their divine spark ignite and they grow pulled into this beautiful divinity within all of us. Thank you. You are all so beautiful. Today, I share with you my understanding of in-between space between fact and brief, belief. Make a long story short, fact does not exist. There are interpretations, narratives, stories, based on your belief system and your experiences. Therefore, as a Korean eco-feminist and Buddhist Dharma teacher, which is my life location, I would say, we try to know something with our faith. So in our spiritual tradition, we do not know without the faith first. So faith-seeking understanding 
That is the first thing. And second thing is you do not know faith without actual practice, which is meditation, prayer, and love, action of love, uh, footstep following footstep of Buddha or Christ. Then you know what it is. But what do you know in this, in this higher consciousness of a more open, more uh, vulnerable, and more sensitive and unbiased space? You know what you do not know. We say this is a big don't know. Christian mystics say this is mystery of God. And this is unknown, unknown God. And they say God is a pure emptiness. And in Buddhist tradition, we said this is a big don't know, but this is a great tr place to be. This is the place every possibility come out. This is a place where this emptiness is a vortex of life where every possibilities can come out. This is a pure emptiness where we can experience what is real. But this is too abstract. I will make it concrete on this earth. Once upon a time, a man living in this city in a big white house called northern part of Korea, axis of evil, and can any country, entire country, woman and children, old, they all become an evil? How about this surety? Because they have a weapon of mass destruction. But what I like about the English world is have a benefit of doubt. <laughs> This kind of surety is a very dangerous thought. When I saw this international peace uh, negotiation, there is anatomy of terrorism. Anatomy of terrorism is you first otherize person. Oh, allergic reaction to the other. Oh, I don't like this other, otherization. Then demonization. Then elimination, that is the anatomy of terrorism. But there are alchemy of peacemaking. Alchemy of peacemaking is reverse this anatomy of terrorism. Anatomy of terrorism to peacemaking. Peacemaking first, rather than otherize the differences, different people, you start deeply listen to their truths, understand them. And rather than demonizing them, you befriending them. And rather than eliminating them, you try to learn how to coexist. The way of coexistence, co-vivance, co-celebration, and co-flourishment. That is what we try to do in Korea right now. We have uh, this women's organization called Chogakbo, which is Quilt. It is a peacemaking group between North and South Korean women. When we are together, what we do? We eat, we sing, we tell our story, we make our uh, money, then we make peace. So first, Action of knowing others is we trust their truth, deep listening. Then we become friend. And we found out how to live together in harmony. So we learned this peacemaking by trusting each other first. Trust, belief is the first way of knowing. Then act together for peace then learn how to coexist. So there is no fact. There's a narrative stories. And out of our experience, we only know this by trust 
and by act, by practice the love, and by loving the subject, we know what is real. Thank you. Have a blessed day.